let's talk about our knee. Your knee is actually the most complicated joint in your body. And one of the weird things about the knee is that it, it is a synovial joint. It's capable of some bizarre movements that we're not going to get too crazy. We'll just call it a hinge joint, but it's more than that. But it's articular capsule, the synovial egg sac that goes around the bones, doesn't actually complete. It doesn't encase everything. In fact, the patella, which is your kneecap, forms the anterior surface of that um, capsule, which is kind of odd. The patella and where it articulates with the femur is one set of bones that are involved in the knee joint. The other set of bones are the femur and the tibia. The fibula, the fibula is not included in the team. Patella, tibia, femur. Those are the three bones that are involved in your knee joint. Now think about your patella. Your patella is actually embedded in your quadriceps tendon. So you have four muscles on your anterior thigh that we will know the names of, and they all join and form an attachment to the tibial tuberosity on the anterior surface of the tibia. And as they form that, what, unified joint or unified um, attachment to the tibia, they actually uh, cover the patella, and the patella is embedded inside that tendon. The quadriceps tendon has the patella inside of it. And you can actually see that, right, her, this, I mean her. That's the patella. This is the quadriceps tendon. And this right here is the patellar ligament. However, the patellar ligament is actually part of the quadriceps tendon with the patella buried inside of it. Okay. We're going to look at not even close to all the structures involved in the knee, just a few of them. First of all, probably most uh, easily visualized are our collateral ligaments. We have a fibular collateral ligament. This is on the lateral side because the fibula is on the lateral side, and it helps strengthen the knee. You also have a tibial collateral ligament, and it, this is on the medial side of the knee between the tibia and the femur. Here's my fibular collateral. Here's my tibial collateral. In addition to my collateral ligaments, which are straight, we have cruciate ligaments, which form a cross. Your, your, your collateral ligaments are on the sides of your knee. The cruciate ligaments form a cross that is anterior posterior. So you actually have the anterior cruciate ligament. And hold on a second. Now think about this. Here's my tibia. The cruciate ligaments form a cross between the tibia and the femur. And the anterior cruciate ligament attaches to the anterior side of the tibia and then crosses posteriorly and attaches to the posterior side of the femur in kind of a middle plane, in a uh, sagittal plane on the knee. Does that, do you follow that? So uh, that was anterior cruciate ligament goes from the anterior aspect of the tibia to posterior to the posterior aspect of the fibula, I mean femur. Makes perfect sense. If we have an anterior cruciate ligament from the anterior surface of the tibia, we also have the posterior cruciate ligament from the posterior surface of the tibia. So the posterior cruciate ligament, unfortunately, you cannot abbreviate. Why? 
because cruciate and collateral both start with C. So the posterior cruciate ligament starts on the posterior side of the tibia and travels to the anterior side of the femur. Okay, so that's going to help you identify and visualize um, which one's which in, in that of your cruciates that cross. Who else do you see here? Somebody very important, very important. They actually have these fibrocartilage pads. You can see them here. You can see them here. Oh, you can see them here. You can see them here. There's one. There it is again. Okay. These guys are your menisci, meniscus, that's uh, singular. You have a medial meniscus on the medial side of the knee joint, and you have a lateral meniscus on the lateral side of the knee joint. Do you love me? Do I love you? You know I love you. I just told you everything that you need to know for your lab. And I can't wait to see you when we are playing with joints and movements and doing jazzercise in class.